Hi guys. Today, we will be writing a program for this scene. We have, 26 control panels here, and we need to program this, assuming we need one control panel, to control one motor or process. This can be done by making a start stop rung for each control panel as we have been doing. But writing the same logic over and over is boring, time consuming, and not a good thing to do. So, to do this we will be using a function block. Before that, we need to know what is a function or function block. In simple words, a function is just a piece of code, that can be used over and over, rather than writing it out multiple times. In PLC programming we have FC or functions are a block of code without dedicated memory. And FB is a function block, these store the values in instances called data blocks so that they remain available after the execution of the block. Now we know what is a function block and why we are using it. The question is how to create a function block. In the solution tab, double click on blocks, there you can see a list of blocks like OB, FB, FC, and so on. Double click on FB then click on create new, give a number to the block and click on create. Similar to our OB block here we can create logic. I will start by defining the input and output that this block will need in the block interface. We need to give the names of the inputs and outputs we need, we also need to define the type of input and output we are referring to and the initial state of input and output. Now, we can create our start stop operation logic or any logic that we need. If I add any instruction to the logic I need to give an address so that the PLC can understand what we are referring to. In the function block, we start with hashtag followed by the name of the input or output as we mentioned before. Now we click on save to save this. Now we can use the function block in our network. I will start by adding a new network. Then I will add the FB1 and give it an address DB1. Here db1 is the instance where the data values will be saved after execution. If we upload it to the PLC we can see that the logic works. And this is how we can use function blocks. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.